morning everyone welcome back to vlogmas day three technically it's not day three but video three i hope you are all doing really well and enjoying december so far today when you're watching this it is wednesday the 6th of december but for me it is actually the first of december and i have pre-filmed a couple of videos because i had some things in november that were really festive and i really wanted to share with you so the last couple of videos that you've seen are pre-filmed but i hope that's okay i have just had the most magical start to december i honestly couldn't even describe how excited i was this morning i woke up super early jack went off to work it is friday by the way and um i was just you know getting ready i've got quite a slow morning this morning just finishing off some work and packing because we are off to the cotswolds for a little pre-christmas weekend and i am so looking forward to it it's just going to be so relaxed so chilled and i cannot wait but i was brushing my teeth and something in me said go and look out the window i was just about to get in the shower I came in the dressing room and I looked out the window and I thought I was still asleep because I, whenever I wake up, I always brush my teeth first thing as soon as I wake up. And I was literally staring out the window, like blinking my eyes and I could see three little black figures in the field. And I kept thinking, that is definitely not a sheep. That's got long legs. Oh my goodness, I think that's a deer. And I ran downstairs, I literally chucked my toothbrush in the sink, ran downstairs, put my wellies on, I was still in my pyjamas, and I ran out to the field, and I couldn't believe it. I have been waiting to see the deer in the field the whole time we've lived here, and I cannot believe I've woken up on the first day of December and seen them. How magical, it was so frosty, I was like crunching on the grass in my wellies, and I just was over the moon but I couldn't get a good video for the vlog so I ran back upstairs and filmed it from up here and wow that was so incredible they started running and oh oh my gosh and then I had a shower was getting ready and it started snowing it's actually stopped now but it was super heavy and it's actually laid on the ground quite a lot on the kind of patio and also on the pathways and oh my goodness I have just yeah, I've been like a child waking up on Christmas Day. I was voice noting my mum saying, Oh my god, I've just seen a deer! And not just one, three. How incredible. But anyways, so incredible. What a lovely start to my morning. I'm in the dressing room just packing the suitcase for the weekend. And although we are only going for two nights, I like to bring options and layers and all of that stuff. So I always end up bringing quite a big suitcase. Me and Jack will usually just share a suitcase and then I'll take a little kind of like weekend bag. We are going to take some champagne with us, maybe a couple of little snacks that I've just got at home that we might take. I'm going to take a magazine and it's just going to be so relaxing and cosy and I cannot wait. We are staying at an Airbnb that we've stayed at many times before. If you have watched my vlogs for a while, every time I go to the Cotswolds I stay in this Airbnb. It is my favourite. 
and uh, reluctantly I will link it below but it just gets booked up so quickly now so luckily we managed to get I think it must have been a cancellation I tried to book it for last weekend for Jack's birthday but um, it was literally fully booked until next year so the fact that we've managed to get this date I am over the moon but it's incredible Mark who lives on the property has three different airbnb properties there so you can stay in the hayloft which is my personal favorite you've also got the granary which i actually haven't stayed at before i think that's a little bit smaller and then the summer house which is beautiful in spring and summer me and nadia stayed there was it last year or the year before it was last year we stayed there um kind of around my birthday like april may time and it was so lovely we were in the garden unfortunately i did get really really unwell when we were there so that kind of wiped out a couple of days but we had such a nice time so i am really looking forward to it the interior is incredible and he is such a nice guy he is so accommodating he's so friendly he really goes out of his way to make your stay as perfect as possible as you can see everything is laid out nicely on the floor i've got accessories that is what i'm going to wear today so that's hung up ready and i've got some nice pajamas because i will wear these tomorrow night my makeup bag i've got some shoes for the evening i've got a couple of different outfits here just um different knitwear i've got a shirt my new jacket which is a little sneak peek it is beautiful i will also bring my field coat which is downstairs so yeah this is everything laid out. Well, we have been in the car for about three hours. It's taken us quite a while because there's been a lot of traffic but we are nearly there we are 10 minutes away have you put the destination as the pub or no, the destination is the airbnb. Airbnb. airbnb okay um yes nearly there we're gonna head to the pub that we always go to when we arrive and it's called the falkland arms um i'm gonna leave everything linked well not linked but i'm gonna leave everything written down below of where we go just so that you can refer to it if you want to but also if you follow me on instagram i will save everything to a highlight so you can go back and refer and actually if you look at my highlights from every single cotswold trip that we have been on over the past like four years i'd imagine um we go to the same places all the time so you can see them but yes very excited and i'm desperate for a wee you can't actually see because the window is so dirty but how beautiful is this sharing my wine with someone else. Ew, that looks so creepy. We have just arrived at the Hayloft, which is where we're staying for the next couple of days. And I thought I would give you a tour quickly before we head off for dinner and make a mess. But when you walk in, there is a little entrance. So you have your own front door down here and then you have your own, this is like completely private. This is like all for us. Um, a little entrance here with coat hook, things like that. Come up the stairs and then everything is very much open plan. So little desk, kitchen, and pretty much everything you could ever want. Dining table, I absolutely love the styling in here. It's just 
so beautiful. I feel like the style of this um, Airbnb, the Airbnbs that Mark does, is just exactly what I love. And then we have the living room area, and actually, this sofa... Jack, do you remember this sofa, when we were choosing a sofa for the um, house? We said we wanted it to be as comfy as this. It is so comfortable. Um, and then we've got the log burner, TV, oh, it's just so heavenly. Magazines, speakers, books, just absolutely everything that you could want. I just love it. It actually feels so much bigger than I remember as well. The kitchen is beautiful. Let's see if I can put the light on. There we go. Yeah, just so lovely. Absolutely everything you could want. Recipe books, just everything. And also Mark always leaves breakfast stuff. So we've got eggs, Cotswold sausages and bacon, butter, um, also a bottle of wine. We bought a bottle of Simpsons, which is from our friends actually for Jack's birthday. So that's going in the fridge. Probably drink that tomorrow. You also get given a loaf of fresh bread. There's like granola, literally just everything. It is just home from home. When we drove in, actually, I said, I feel like we're just coming home because we've been here so many times. So the plan for the evening, well, it's actually only half four, but it feels late because it is so dark outside. We went to the pub, had a couple of drinks there. And the plan for tonight, we are going to head over to the Fox Oddington. Fingers crossed we can get a table. I'm hoping we can. Um, and we're going to go for dinner and then probably come back, sit on the sofa, put pyjamas on, nice and cosy. My favourite type of evening. And I don't know what to wear tonight because I was going to wear um, the lily silk skirt that I showed you in the last video I'm still kind of contemplating that but I don't know whether it's too dressy because I've never been there before so I'm not sure we shall see today's outfit was just really simple I've got H&M black jeans on these are actually new I ordered these the other day because I really wanted to get some new skinny jeans house of brewer boots that I love lily silk cashmere turtleneck and then my cape from caramelin which I just love wearing so yes, all black, and I think we're gonna get ready for dinner. What are you up to? Me? Yeah. Nothing. Suspicious. Are you connecting to the speaker? No, I was just looking at the cameras. <laughs> Work. <laughs> that sounds about right. Anyways, I will catch up with you when we're ready for dinner. I am just getting myself ready for dinner. And I have made such an error. I literally cannot believe. I have like strategically packed all my clothes and planned out all my outfits and I forgot to bring black tights. I knew I was going to do that because I couldn't find the tights that I usually wear. So I thought I need to go into the bedroom and get the tights out of my drawer. And lo and behold, I forgot. So that's really annoying. Um, so I can't wear the skirt that I wanted to wear because I have to wear it with tights. So instead, I am wearing a very simple outfit, but I've got this beautiful jacket on from Fairfax and Favour, which I absolutely love. But I was going to wear this tomorrow, so I think we're going to be outfit repeating, but I'll probably just style it differently. Um, anytime I stay anywhere... What are you doing lurking in the back? Okay. <laughs> I always get something wrong. There's always something I forget. And today I forgot the tights, which I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but to wear that skirt, I feel like I need to have tights on. So anyways, I'm just gonna quickly top up my makeup really, really quick. I'm just using a little bit of the By Terry Hyaluronic foundation. <laughs> you got sunglasses on. <laughs> Jack's obviously really bored waiting for me. Um, yeah, just a little bit of foundation just to top up my makeup because I did this at about 8am and it is now, I don't even know what the time is. I think it's like half five, six o'clock. Okay, outfit of the evening. I've got this top. 
<laughs> UTD. This top, which is from Under the Stories. I've had this for years and I love it. It's like a balconette long sleeve ribbed top. It's so good for evenings, like a basic top. Um, jeans are new H&M. And then I've got my office heels on, which are so ruined. I actually really wish I brought my knee high boots because I would much rather wear those with this outfit. I'm just hoping these don't look too weird. Um, jacket is Fairfax and Favour and I'm going to pop my Lily Silk belt on which I showed you in the last vlog which I just love. I feel like because I'm wearing a black top and black jeans I need a little bit of something in the middle so we're going to go for a belt. morning everyone it is saturday and it is a frosty morning how beautiful does it look over this little balcony so gorgeous i've actually been watching a pheasant this morning like running over here i was hoping i could catch it but i think it's far away but from one sheep field to another i feel like we must attract sheep wherever we go. It's a little bit noisy, but we are currently cooking some breakfast. We've got sausages, bacon, scrambled eggs, and toast. And Jack is on the coffee duty with the cafetiere, doing a great job. I am absolutely starving this morning, so I'm really looking forward to this. It is a no makeup, pajama kind of morning. And I actually slept so well last night. I wanted to show you my pyjamas because these are new and I think these are going to be my kind of Christmas pyjamas. They're from H&M. They're like a um, navy blue, kind of like a Czech tartan with a bit of green. They are probably not the most flattering pyjamas because they're quite big. But I did get them in an extra small and they are so soft they literally feel like a blanket they're brushed cotton and i just love them they're so snuggly so i've got my shirt and then trousers as well and they're so nice and cozy so yeah we're gonna um have some breakfast and then i think we're gonna wrap up warm and head out for a walk which i'm really looking forward to because the walk that we usually do around here is so nice um we kind of walk down to like a stream is it a stream or a river stream um yeah and it's gonna be so nice because it's really frosty this morning and i actually have just seen a couple of pictures from my friends and i think it's snowing at home so i have a feeling when we get back home it's gonna be pretty snowy so that'll be lovely but yes we've got scrambled eggs sausages bacon some toast all supplied by mark who owns the airbnb which is so lovely it's really nice to have the option of having some breakfast bits in the morning because it just saves you from having to go to the shops like that first morning. So I think it's going to be delicious. And actually tomorrow, I would really like to go to Quince and Clover, which was a recommendation from Josie, um, which is actually really near to where we are staying. So I'm hoping tomorrow morning we can head there and get some like breakfast bits, maybe some, maybe like cinnamon buns or something. Cinnamon that. buns. Yeah, I think that'd be nice. So yeah, time for breakfast. Dressed and ready, we're gonna head out for a nice walk. I've got lots of layers on because it looks so chilly outside. Got Lily Silk cashmere wool blend jumper on, which I love. I really love this white but cream jumper. Got my shuffle and then I've got some skinny jeans. These are actually denim like dark blue. I don't know if I love the dark blue, but we'll see. Um, also got my Celine Sunnies and my dense gloves as well to keep my hands warm. So yeah, gonna get my coat. My coat's in the car and wellies are downstairs. So, got everything? Got everything. Let's go. Matching with the shuffles today. My wellies are so muddy from what's at home. Your coat's in my car, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. 
it is the nicest day. It's so frosty, I can't believe how white everything is. It feels like we're in Narnia and it is so cold, but I'm loving it, it's so nice and fresh. We just walked down our little normal route, but there's a shoot going on, so we don't want to get in the way, so we turn around and we're walking back. But um, we just saw some deers, which I can't believe because I feel like this weekend is just full of deers, crazy. Just running like across the field to us. Was there three? Yeah, three. Why is there always three? Is it a mum and a dad and a baby? Because there were three in our house. Sorry. I wonder if there's a reason. Um, yeah, so we're going to head back and go to Dalesford, I think, this morning and get some bits, have a look around, maybe even get some Christmas presents if they've got anything. And yeah, get a nice drink. I'm so thirsty. I was just saying, I would really love an orange juice, so I think we need to get some orange juice for tomorrow morning. Um, but yeah, it's lovely. And also, by the way, I absolutely hate these jeans, so I'm not going to link them below because I do not like them. The colour, I just am not, not a fan. Back from our walk, and we are dressed and ready. I've just quickly changed my jeans to the black ones and I've put this new jacket on which is from Fairfax and Faber. I absolutely love this jacket so much. <laughs> um, yeah, and that is the outfit of the day and we're gonna go to Dalesford. Jack is pulling faces next to me. <laughs> um, we're gonna go to Dalesford, probably pop to Waitrose, get some bits for dinner and then I think we're gonna go to the King M Plough for a little bit of lunch and a drink and then come back and have a nice cozy evening by the fire and i cannot wait so that is the plan of action ready i'm ready to go you got your coat what coat up there what are you wearing this one shall i wear my beige one yeah, if you want. Okay, yeah, that goes. Then I pull my big coat on. Whoa! Oh my god! I just fell down the stairs. I got it on camera. Just got this man to clean the windows quickly before we go. Just got his Grinch hand cleaning the windows. <laughs> on the way here, he made me clean the wing mirror <laughs> on the motorway because <laughs> because he couldn't see out. I think it's all the salt from the roads. It's like made it really misty. Very smart looking car wash man. You're a very smart looking car wash man. <laughs> I think I fancy this car wash man. I love his outfit. <laughs> that little glove is so funny. <laughs> Oh, day makes me laugh. Okay, we're in the smelly cheese room. I think this is the best part of Dalesford, the cheese room. We're just loading up on some cheese for cheese board this evening. So many good ones. Also, look at the size of these gigantic bits down here. Huge. Should we try something new? Mm. <clears throat> I feel like I might put this one back and get one of them for something else. Like one of them. So yeah, okay. That. Dalesford blue. That looks nice. I'd quite like to try a new cheese. Or do we get... Um, that does look nice. Gorgonzola is a bit quite mushy, isn't it? Yeah. What about over here? Manchego? We've already had that, though. Oh, Roquefort, that's nice. It's proper strong. Get a Roquefort, because you like that. Yeah, but I feel like we could get a Bell's with blue. Yeah, I'd like to try that. Oh, look at this. Stinking Bishop. 
Stinking Bishop. Yeah, this is quite soft. That's what it's called, yeah. Stinking Bishop. Should we get some Stinking Bishop? Mild and creamy. Sounds like you. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so cold, I can't stop shivering. So many, isn't there? So many cheeses. Nutty and fruity truffle. and it was so busy but we got some nice bits and bobs for later i'm so looking forward to sitting by the fire it's gonna be so nice um and then we were actually gonna go for lunch at the kingham but it was fully booked so we have changed our plan and we're actually gonna go to station mill antiques and um, we were gonna do that tomorrow but we're gonna do it today instead so we're gonna pop there have a little look hopefully i can get some nice bits i want to get some new things for the house so we'll see what they have and then we're gonna go back home and have a really nice relaxed afternoon and evening and it's gonna be lovely and it's absolutely freezing out so it'll be nice antiques and it was so good it was absolutely massive um so we spent a little while having a wander around and i did buy a piece of artwork which i really love so i'll show you that when we're back home but i've got to show you what we picked up from dalesford i haven't got it all here because i left some of it in the car i actually got some baskets um to do some planting in because i saw some things in the garden center that i really loved and i really want to recreate it so if you can see this is kind of what i want to do with the basket with like some moss i think it's gonna look really nice so i got i think three baskets and then from dalesford i've got a bottle of frizzante because it's my favorite we got oh, i forgot we got these lemon and white chocolate biscuits we got some chocolate honeycomb. We got some gooseberry chutney, which this- um, Gooseberry. Gooseberry. <laughs> this chutney's my absolute favorite. We've had this before. It's run out, so we got a new one. We also got some truffle honey, which again is amazing. We've had this before and I absolutely love this and it's run out, so I've got a new one. And then we got some cheese. We got the Dalesford Blue, we got a Brie de Moe, and we also got a Compt. So nice selection for a cheese board. And then we just popped into Waitrose and got some little bits for dinner. Um, we've just got some pie. We're gonna have a chicken pie and some dough from our potatoes and some vegetables. Very easy, just shove in the oven dinner so that we don't have to do much.
morning everyone it is sunday today and it is our last morning here at the airbnb we have had such a nice morning it's just been really slow we had some pastries showered got ready we've been watching match of the day and we are heading off now this morning checkout is at 11 and it's 22 11 right now so all in good time and we're gonna head to burford this morning burford garden company which i absolutely love we got our christmas tree there last year our artificial tree and we got our christmas lights and the wreath and so many bits and bobs so i'm really excited to go see what we can find hopefully pick up some new bits for the house and that is the plan it is very rainy and misty outside so i think it's going to be nice to be inside the garden center and i think we might pop to a pub on the way back for sunday lunch um but we shall see where the day goes but today's outfit is the same black jeans that i've been wearing quite a lot really really love these i've got my same black knee-high boots on um white shirt is actually a new one from h&m really good basic classic white shirt which i just really wanted to get a new one that was a little bit more fitted so loving this i haven't ironed it so i feel like the collar's a bit weird lily silk cable knit jumper and then i'm going to wear my new caramelin burgundy coat today which i think is going to look lovely very christmasy vibes and i'm all here for it YSL sac du jour bag which is pretty much my everyday winter handbag it just fits so much in and i love it and i've had this for quite a few years now and it's still fabulous so yeah that is the outfit of the day freshly washed my hair this morning and i've just flicked it under with the straighteners which is just my favorite way to style it it's so quick and easy but it's so static for the past few days my hair's been really static i don't know why i think it might be something to do with my hairbrush but anyways that is the plan for the day we've got the bags packed jack has done the dishwasher everything is ready to go we've got all the bits from dalesford and yeah i'm gonna head in the car and say goodbye to our wonderful little home for the weekend i just love it here so much i've already had so many messages on instagram asking for a link for this place over this weekend so i think this is going to be a firm favorite for quite a lot of you and if you do come and stay here please let me know because i would love to see what you think because i absolutely love it here i think it is perfection so it's all lovely and clean we always leave it exactly how we found it which is best airbnb etiquette we have arrived at Burford. We did a little pit stop at Dalesford to pick, oh, it's really bright, that's better, to pick something up for Jack's mum. And we're gonna pop in to Burford and hopefully get some good bits, but it's so busy. I can't believe how busy it is everywhere. It's been like such a job to get a parking space. We've driven round and round and round, but we've got a good one. It is absolutely pouring down. So we're gonna run in and see what we can get. Hopefully we get some good bits. Okay, we are currently outside in the garden and we have just picked up some mistletoe. Trolley's looking full. We've got some bulbs, Christmas lights, tools for the garden. Oh, it's just so nice here. I love it. I wish we had this at home because I would come here every week. Absolutely love it. We have just got back in the car after Burford, which was so good. I think we got some really good bits. We got lights for the Christmas tree. We got loads of mistletoe, which you can see behind me. And got some other bits and bobs, I can't really remember. Some tools and things, so I'll show you when we get home. But I'm really excited to put our real tree up next week and um, do the garland in the living room and zhuzh the wreath on the door a little bit. I do lots of bits like that so I think the next video you watch may be doing that or it might be the one after I can't remember now um but we are off home and we're gonna go to the pub for Sunday lunch as well but we might go to our local pub because 
I don't really know any pubs around here, so it'd be easier just to go home. But one thing I was just saying to Jack, I don't know why people are so grumpy nowadays. I feel like anywhere we've been, people are just so moody and they always just like kind of glare at you. And I'm like walking along, like smiling. Just people are just so grumpy. I don't know what's wrong with them. So impatient and grumpy is one thing I just absolutely hate. It's not difficult to smile. But anyway, had a lovely stay and ready to get back home and get back into work tomorrow because I have a very busy week. But I'm sure I will show you some bits when we get home. It is now the following day. We had such a wonderful weekend. I didn't vlog last night when we went for dinner because my camera died, but we went to the local pub, our local that we go to pretty much every week. We had the most delicious roast dinner I have ever had out at a pub. It was so good. Very impressed. We will definitely be going back there many times for a Sunday roast. I love the food there anyway, and we get on with the people that own the pub and work in there really well but i've never had the sunday roast and it was so delicious and before i end the vlog i thought i would give you a little run through of what we picked up while we were away i haven't got loads to share with you just a few little bits just to give you some inspo if you're nosy and you're wondering what we bought i thought i would show you so firstly i thought i'd just show you the rest of what we got at dalesford because I did mention that I got some baskets, and I did. I thought these were really reasonably priced, especially considering they're from Dalesford. Um, so these are all planters. They've got little plastic linings, so they're perfect for potting up. And I got three different types. Firstly, I got this one, a little bit chunkier, more of an oval shape. Thought this would be a really nice centerpiece. And I also then got a square, smaller one, and a tiny one and I thought this would be really cute for in my office um maybe one of these could go in the kitchen I'm thinking one of them on the dining table potentially gonna have a play about but I'm hoping at some point this week I'll be able to get to the garden center and hopefully get some really beautiful bits I'd like to get a mini Christmas tree some hellebores and plant up some bits which we can obviously do together and then moving on to Burford, we got a few little random bits and bobs, starting off with this mistletoe, which I am so excited about. This is incredible. We got this massive bunch. You could buy them singularly, so you could just get one stem if you wanted, but I knew I was going to want a lot, so we got this big bunch instead. And I'm planning to use this for the garland in the living room, which we will be doing very soon. And I might put some of this in the wreath when I juice that up a little bit. And we will probably hang some on the beam in the kitchen as well. Or maybe on the beam in here, potentially in this walkway. I think that could look really lovely. So I've got lots of foliage to play with, which is really fun. And this is just stunning. Actually, when we went to Station Mill Antiques, they had loads of mistletoe dotted about for decoration. And I said to Jack, we must find some somewhere. And we managed to find it at Burford, so that was brilliant. Now, I know it's a little bit late. However, they were doing a sale on bulbs at Burford, 50% off. And they had quite a lot left, so we ended up getting a few little packets. I am hoping that we're going to have time to do this at the weekend. But our theme for the garden next spring is purple and white. So we got two packets of the Jacuzzi Tulips. Beautiful pinky purple colour. And then I also got this massive pack of blue diamond tulips, which, oh my gosh, these, these just look stunning. And we actually don't have any tulips in the garden at all, so I think these are going to be beautiful. I need to decide where I want these to go. I'm thinking at the front of the house because I have got big plans for the garden in the spring. We have so much we want to do, and we kind of wrote a bit of a list, and we're brainstorming it while we were away, and I'm really looking forward to it i think it's going to look beautiful then i just got a couple of little pots you guys know if you've watched my vlogs in the summer i have been spray painting terracotta pots with a limestone spray from amazon actually my local garden center ripley's now stock those kind of limestone looking terracotta pots so i'm really pleased about that because i don't have to spray them anymore but i saw these and i just I love them. I just love a pot. I feel like you can never have too many. And they were such a good price. So I got 
a medium sized one and then two tiny little ones and these are going to be really good for herbs in the kitchen and just little bits like that and then we got some christmas lights for our real christmas tree which we are getting at the weekend and i am just so looking forward to having a really festive afternoon on sunday putting up the christmas tree getting all the decorations i cannot wait i'm so excited so we got two boxes of christmas tree lights these are just really simple one strip warm white led lights these are a set of 320 we got two because i really want our christmas tree to be wow especially the real one i think the faux one in the kitchen is a little bit more minimal and because we've got the cluster lights from Burford, which you guys are loving. I've been reading the comments in the first day of Vlogmas and they are a winner, those cluster lights. And they actually did still have them in stock in Burford. So if you are finding yourself that way or you live locally to Burford and you want to pick them up, they had a lot in stock. So I do recommend them. They are beautiful. But I just wanted to do something a little bit different on the real tree. A bit more spread out and just a little bit more fine and detailed. So I think these are going to be perfect. And then a couple of random bits. I actually got Jack a couple of Christmas presents that he had on his list. Because while we were there we saw them and he really liked them. So I said to him, I'll just get them now. One of them being an axe, he really wanted, sounds a bit extreme, but he really wanted a really nice axe for chopping the logs. So I got to him one of those from this brand called Kent and Stowe. And I also got him this bulb planter because he was saying how he really wanted a bulb planter. And I don't know if it's just a manly thing, but anything he has even if it's a tool for the garden he likes it to be really good quality and a little bit more luxe i don't know why i think maybe it's just because he doesn't really spend much money on clothes and like accessories and that's his little thing so he picked this out and i said look i'll buy that and that can be your christmas present so that is what i got him and it's actually really nice and it's very very long so i think this is going to be good it actually also has the measurements on the back so pretty good pretty handy and it's just really beautiful so quite a good gift idea for any men or gardeners in your life and then the last thing we got we had a little look around the garden center i'm gonna grab you we actually got a couple of rose plants climbing roses they are outside and it is a little bit rainy but i'm gonna show you now we have been wanting to add in some climbing roses around the garden if you can see on the wall just here we have some trellis and there was something there before which i took out um and we wanted to replace it make it a little bit more our style so we picked up two different rose plants climbing roses these are the david austin mme alfred carrier i think that's how you say that climbing roses and they are just beautiful i think these are going to be so perfect for our house i think they're just going to work really nicely especially spring summer when all the flowers are out i love them so we will be planting these hopefully in the next week or so we'll get some time to come out in the garden definitely have to wrap up warm because it is freezing and very wet but one of these is going to go by the front door and the other one will go along this side as well so yeah another couple of little bits that we picked up for the house just adding things slowly but surely and that is everything we got so we didn't go mad obviously you would have seen we got a couple of bits at dalesford but we definitely reined it in i think we could have spent an absolute fortune at burford we just love it there so much so that is the end of vlogmas episode three